In this video, we're going to duplicate a blog post in Shopify together. If you're new here, I'm Svenny from Bloggle and today I'll show you how to duplicate a Shopify blog post and what to avoid so your site isn't flagged for duplicate content on Google. So you might be wondering, why should I even duplicate my content? Well, it helps you publish updated blog posts or make adjustments to previous ones without writing a new article from scratch. Also note that the theme you use can make it easier or harder to duplicate your content. So check out this video here or here on what Shopify themes are best for your blog. Now, there are two ways to duplicate your Shopify blog posts, the manual way or through third-party apps. If you don't wanna download a third-party app, then you'll have to go the manual route, which involves actually copying pasting and formatting an old blog post. So let's try this out. First, log into your Shopify dashboard and navigate to online store and click on blog post. Once you're here, click on the blog post you wanna duplicate. Copy everything and then go back to the previous page. Now click on add a new blog post and paste your content into the body section over here. Now you'll need to make a few adjustments to your post so Google doesn't flag it for duplicate content. If you wanna learn more about that, just stick around to the end so you don't get penalized on Google. Once you've done that, just click save and change your visibility to publish your content. Honestly, it's tiring to copy and paste each section of an article to a new blog post. If you want a faster and easier method, you should try a third-party app like Bloggle. Bloggle is a user-friendly Shopify blog builder that helps you overcome the challenges of Shopify's native blog. And duplicating content in seconds is just one of its many unique features. So here's how it's done. First, download the app from the Shopify App Store. Once you've installed it and imported the article you would like to duplicate, it should appear here in the blog post section of your dashboard. Now go over that particular article, click on clone and confirm your action. And as you can see, we've just duplicated our content in seconds. Now, I mentioned getting flagged on Google for duplicate content. This is when Google thinks you're trying to illegally get higher rankings by republishing the same content over and over again. And we don't want that. So we need to change a couple of things about this clone article. You'll need to change the title, the meta description, the meta text, even the URL. Also try to include new findings so you can easily differentiate this duplicate content from the old one. Once you're done, just click save and publish to share your new article with your audience. Congratulations! You've got a new Shopify blog post and we didn't have to start writing from scratch. This will save you time, money and definitely headaches. Now that you're an expert, it's time to create your duplicate blog post and simplify your content marketing process. Let me know in the comments which method you'll be trying out first. As always, be sure to like, share and subscribe to get access to even more Shopify tips and tricks. I'll see you next time. Bye.